Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Dine Out and we're out here with little Audrina. She's over here playing with a car toy that she just found in a little frog hole. So she's doing pretty good collecting some toys. She has found two toys so far since we've um, updated the game to the new kid stuff pack and she's over here playing with the car. She's been up fairly early. She had another run in with the monster under the bed. So she slept with mom and um, woke up super early and in a good mood and she watched a little TV and now she's just out having some fun but I do need to make her um, probably come home and I'm just gonna have her grab like something really light I'm just gonna have her grab a quick meal of cereal and kind of come over here and watch uh, the kids network some more hopefully she put her toy in her pocket I'm hoping so because wouldn't that be sad if it likes another kid finds it <laughs> and then I'll be like yeah so we probably should buy her like a toy chest eventually um, to kind of put things in I mean ideally I would like to um, expand the house just a little bit to have Nate I'm sorry not Nate Dante have his own room but I don't know when that time is going to come to be honest with you um, and he definitely needs to get up and grab himself something to eat so I'm gonna let him get up and do that and I'm going to go on and let mom get up and grab her a shower and go on and use the bathroom because he's going to, need to take a shower as well and both of them have to go to school in an hour but I was contemplating not opening up the restaurant today but I'm going to go on and do it because I definitely want to give the new employee a start if I would have thought about it though I wouldn't have opened it up and I would only would and had the um and just hired the employee for Thursday and is the food stinking or is he stinking the food is okay right is he stinking I think he's stinking I think he has a green fume coming from him which is kind of gross but um He's going to take a shower in a second. Oh, he always wants to talk with his sister and hang out with her. He is such a good big brother. It's like he really has taken... Okay, he completely left his food over there, though. He has taken his... Um, his... Uh, his uh, what's the role his role as a big brother protector of the household very seriously I'm gonna let him sit here and eat his scrambled eggs while he's sitting there talking to her I'm not sure what he's talking to her about but apparently he just wants to kind of touch base with her and just stay um just make sure she knows that big brother always has her back and um they could always just kind of hang out and who is crying is she in here crying Oh my goodness, I know poor Ashley. She's like, this isn't the life that I wanted. Uh, she wants to level up on cooking, so we can totally work on that. And then she wants to be funny with Dante. We could totally work on that as well. And she needs to take a shower. So I'm going to go on and strive to open up the restaurant for 9 o'clock today, which means I kind of need to get her up and at them as best as possible. Um, and then I'll definitely let Dante. The kids have to go to school. Oh my gosh. They're both going to be late because they're sitting over here just talking and chatting with each other. I'm going to let her go on and go. And then he's probably just going to have to go to school kind of stinky, which sucks because he has green fume coming from him. And it would have been nice if him and uh, Morgan could have had like a little bit of another connection. But, uh, you know, he's about to age up in a couple of days. I don't know when she's aging up. He actually ages up in how long? Four days? Three days? I don't know. I don't know. But but soon, soon, very soon, he's going to age up. So I'm going to let him just uh, do his thing. I know he's like so uncomfortable. But, uh, you know, we're going to try our best. Oh, we're going to try our best. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm always saying that. We're going to do the best. Do we have a dishwasher? Oh, I thought we did for a second. I want to say awesome. I, I was hoping. I was hoping. And I do want to take some more pictures of the kids so we can fill up the wall. I did um, put a little gallery, like an art gallery type thing down. So she could always go over there and level up on some painting and get that taken care of. Uh, we might have to take this food to go. Yeah, we're totally going to have to take this food to go. All right, we're out of here. Let's go on and get out of here. She's doing okay right now. So we're going to go on and get out and get to the breakfast hub. We're going to hopefully do better today because, I mean, last time was horrible. I mean, I don't, I don't get it, but it was horrible last time. I, I still don't know why Mitchell just sat there and let the food sit up there. Uh, the, um, Claire was totally doing her job. She was totally on it. She was bringing the food out. I mean, she was sending the food out. I just wish that there was a way that I could actually take the food if for some reason the waiter or the waitress is dropping the ball. There should be a way for us to be able to take the food to the customers, you know. I guess because we don't know which customer had what. But that'd be nice if it sat there and told you like auto deliver to the customers 
You know, like in real life, if this was like a real restaurant, every once in a while you're sitting at whatever restaurant and the manager kind of does come out and bring the food if the wait staff is a little bit behind. So, like I said, I have no idea what was wrong with Mitchell. Hopefully the fact that I gave him a raise will be what we need. Um, then we'll go from there. My notification will. Oh, I thought I paid the bills. Did I not pay the bills? I could have swore I paid the bills. Okay, apparently we did not. So I'm going to go in and open the business up um, here and hopefully she could pay the bills for me. Uh, is there anything we need to do as far as trash? There is a little trash on the tables. So I'm going to um, clean that up and also clean that up. And there is uh, our new host with the most. <laughs> What's his name? I forgot his name. Hun Roach. Oh my gosh, that name though. Like, would you want someone by the name of Roach working at your restaurant? No, thank you. No roaches, please. No roaches. Um, so I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of training this time. I'm kind of hoping that we don't have to. Um, I'm going to go on and just start Mitchell off as best I can. I'm going to check up on him really quickly. And then I'm going to also go in here and check up on Claire. And I don't know if we're going to see Lamar today. There's a strong possibility he will show up. He did on last time try to invite us out to two different dates. One in the morning and one in the evening. And he was like, I can't get you off my mind. But I was like, dude, I just saw you. And we gave him like no type of romantic interaction whatsoever. And apparently it was enough for him to want to um, to see us, to see him, to see her rather. So I'm going to welcome these people to my restaurant. And I don't know if they're all together. Um, but I'm going to welcome them anyway. And little Olivia Spencer Kim Lewis. <laughs> Say that five times fast. It's funny though, because we're getting like some little regulars at this point. So that's nice. And he seems like to be super friendly. And see, and this was Ashley's deal. You know, she was the one that was the host um, at Trophy. So she might not have a lot of experience experience in wait staff and chef for tree chef tree we're gonna call it chef tree why not but she might not have that much experience with that situation but it's still nice that um she um has the uh just a little bit of the restaurant business she knows you know are you serious we still don't have friendly service what is going on who is the one that's messing us up at this point i might have to pay for the hostess to get some training I might have to. I don't know what's going on. I thought that maybe a, the host was the reason why the people weren't having a good. Um... What am I doing wrong here? All right. We're going to have to go on and invest. I hate to do this, though. We're going to go on and invest in some training. So I'm going to pay him for training. Um, just pay for training a brief 150 simoleon training. Uh, let's do the same thing with Claire here. I'm going to pay for her um, a brief training. And we're going to probably lose a lot of money this go round doing this. But we're going to do the best we can. Because I think in the long run, that does kind of boost employee morale a little bit. If they think that we're investing in them. And maybe they'll be more willing to invest, you know, their, their the positiveness that they have to offer. If that makes any sense, then they'll have that to, um, to, 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 oh, he's talking about a cake. Is it his birthday? What's going on, Devin? Um, so I can't do anything with Devin already. Okay, I guess I got to wait till he get he gets set before I can do anything with him. Um, I just kind of want to check on them and just see how they're doing. I don't understand what the problem is, but maybe it's because I need to train my employees. I'm not sure. But um, we're, we're definitely going to stay on top of it. And why aren't these kids at school? Speaking of school, I'm going to let... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to let him be normal. Because he smells today. That's going to be kind of embarrassing to be sitting there trying to <laughs> trying to make friends. And they're like, dude, you stink. Oh, my goodness. All right. So I'm paying for, even though we just hired him, hun, um, some training. Oh, my gosh. This is going to kill us. 150 simoleons. Oh, oh goodness. He had like a, a weird look about him. Like he was just like, I'm not feeling it. Um, and then let's welcome Alyssa here. Aly Alyssa. What's her name? Elsa. I've never seen her age up. Elsa, I don't think I've ever seen her age. Have I ever seen her age up? I don't think I have. Yeah, for some reason, people aren't digging my hostess. Um, my hostess is not the host with the most. 
So let's go check on the table here. Did I eventually get everybody with the training? I don't know that I did. Uh, let's see really quickly. I don't know that I did. Did I get Claire's training? I don't know. Did I get her training or not? I don't know if I did. I know she'll get some. Um, all right. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention, but let's hope. Well, yeah, they're all going up right now, but that's probably just from them working in general. Um, so I don't know if I actually, I guess I can just click her and see. Because if I have, I don't think it'll, yeah, okay, so it already went through. Okay, because I was thinking it probably wouldn't have let it go through. So I'm going to just go through really quickly. I think that kind of helps too, to kind of uh, praise everybody here and just give them like a pat on the back and say thank you so much for keeping the restaurant up and running and because we are full right now I think I'm going to go on and disallow new customers because I don't like customers just kind of hanging around just like looking for a place and until we get more um, let's praise hun as well um, but until we get like more seating and I'm not going to get any more seating until we start making like a good profit I think for a starter business we're good with the four seats that we have you know I think I feel like that. Um, thanks for the feedback, Miss Douglas. I won't let it go to my head. Awesome. All right, so let's really quickly go through and check up on some tables here, and go over here and check up on them. And then I don't want to comp any food. I know that's so wrong because I feel like I should, but I'm not going to. I just don't want to do it. And then we're going to come over here. I don't want to sit. Oh my God, this child is snoring so loud. Um, can I go right here? Can I go? Can I? I can't. I can't do anything here. And then let's go. Okay. Obviously, I can't. Management. Okay. Oh, I already checked the button. Okay. Is that the reason why I wouldn't let me click it? Of course, she's feeling super tense at this point, and I understand. Um, but you know, we we got it. We got to do what we got to do. So there's a strong possibility that we will not be having any more customers after these four, because I really want to close shop up at three o'clock. And um, it's 1.32 right now. So kind of sucks. It would have been nice to get what we needed to get back in the training. You know what I mean? But I know that. that and I still didn't pay bills. Why haven't we paid bills yet? All right. We're going to lose our electricity. Everything's going to go off. <laughs> oh, gosh. I could have swore I queued her up to pay bills. But why it's not letting me do it, I'm not sure. Um, so let's play game a little bit. Um, all right, cool, cool, cool. All right, we're, we're getting it together. Everybody's, we're getting threes across the board and that's fine. Um, let's see what we're looking at real quickly because I really want, oh, we're at 1450. I would have liked to get that cheaper, um, what is it? Um, it might be 15, what is it? What is it, what is it, what is it? Uh, here it is, lower training. So we're all, oh, we're there. So let's just go on and grab this right now. Awesome. And I know I'm probably going to regret it because I really probably should have got another wait staff, but we kind of don't need another wait staff, you know. But anyway, I wish I would have done that and then got the training, but it's all good. I'm going to go on and allow one more set of customers and um, let's go on and clear, clean this table up a little bit. Can I clean? Or is she going to take forever to do all of this stuff? Did I pay the bills? Did I pay the bills? I still don't even know if I paid the bills, but if not, I'll pay them when we get home. It's no big deal. Hopefully she'll grab. Okay, so we're at three out of five stars. If at 2.30 we haven't got any more new customers, I'm just going to um, disallow. So, yep, I'm going to go on and disallow new customers. Uh, I thought I had allowed, but maybe. Okay, we'll disallow new customers. And I don't know why she never grabs the glass. And why Mitchell never cleans up, I have no idea. But, um, you know, overall, I think we did pretty good. We just served these four tables. I think it was like three people per table. So I guess we'll be at like 12 when it's all said and done um, for today. But at least we gained our star back after yesterday's debacle, which was horrible. Um, so she's just cleaning up all the plates and stuff right now. And customers are leaving. And I think people are pretty kind of dead set on the three stars. And that's fine. Did she put everything down? Oh, she did. I hate when they do that. Like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? All right, clean that up and then grab. I wonder if they ever do tips and stuff because I haven't seen that feature yet. Uh, clean that up. And then let's clean that up. 
And then let's clean that up. All right, cool. All righty. And then I'll come over here really quickly. And I guess I can check up on, okay, I can't do anything with them. Okay. All right, cool. So she's going to clean all this stuff up. Oh, no. Oh, no, Claire. Okay, Claire. Please don't burn down my building. <laughs> what happens if they burn down the building, though? Like, for real. I don't know what happens. I'm going to come over here really quickly and praise Mitchell. Because he did really good today. I can't do anything. Okay, I guess I'll just check up on him. Um, and then do the same thing with Claire. Kind of check up on her. Uh, check up on. All righty. And then last but not least, I guess for his first day, he did okay. I guess. I don't know. Check up on... Um, all right, cool. So the kids are back home. So I'm going to let them just do what they have to do for themselves. And part of me kind of wants to take Mitchell and maybe take him back. Um, okay, so everybody's gone. So cool. What's going on and in this work day here? Close it. All right, cool. So we actually made money today, which is surprising. We made 108 simoleons. I have no idea how we did that. Um, because we paid for training. So I don't know if that comes out of that fund or not. But at least we got um, our employees getting some training. But I think I do kind of want to take Mitchell. And not on a romantic level, of course. But uh, I kind of want to take him and um, take him out and go to this little restaurant place. Just to kind of like boost morale a little bit. Just kind of hang out with him. Treat him to like that little ordeal. I think that'll be fun. Uh, I'm not sure what happened with Hun. He kind of left in a weird mood um and really you know i could kind of take everybody there i guess you know yeah let's let's actually let's do that after we finish cleaning up look how he's walking away <laughs> oh gosh oh my gosh i could totally micromanage him right now but i'm not going to but when she's done did we ever pay bills did we ever do that we still have not paid bills maybe we can't pay bills to wear at home so in the meanwhile i'm gonna let her travel we're gonna take all of our employees with us we're going to take mitchell we're going to take Hun, and then we're going to take Claire, and then we're going to just kind of get to know each other and kind of hang out, do like an employee outing, so to speak, because technically we will be closed tomorrow. I have decided Wednesday we're definitely going to be closed, and for this week, Thursday, we're going to be closed. We'll be back open on Friday, so I'm going to use those days to kind of let Ashley kind of catch up with stuff around the house, because she spends a good amount of time out um, at this restaurant. So that is not the museum. It must be at Oasis. I'm so sorry for the for the, the snoring in the background, but he is getting it in. So here it is, art gallery and studio. We're going to go here, and I think there's like a little cafe there. I might can make us something to eat and uh, just kind of hang out and get to know each other. I think that'll be good overall for us to become better friends. So that way, if they come in to work with a bad mood, you know, we can kind of talk it out and just have like, you know, a good report, you know, sort of. And I think in the in the long run that'll help like i said with trophies i used to do that when i wasn't when i was playing off camera i would actually um excuse me oh my goodness i came out of nowhere i would actually like do like activities and stuff with them we would go out to clubs and we would kind of hang out it was really like a big sorority and i really wish i would have played that one on camera that that little restaurant the whole dynamics of that restaurant it was so much fun like I had so much fun playing and I could not stop I kept playing it I kept saying you know what I should totally make this an LP but then I kept playing it so anyway it's all good we probably will go back every once in a while and kind of check on ginger and just the restaurant in itself I want to say we were at five stars when I stopped playing him and I don't know if when you're not playing them they could kind of lose um lose like stars and stuff like that I'm not sure but uh, we will be checking on that just in case because uh, I, I, I would be curious to see how that goes. But anyway, we are here at this little, um, I don't know what you call this thing. It's kind of like a little place where you could kind of go, oh, there's already people here painting and stuff. But you can kind of come and take like a painting class and kind of like hang out and stuff. So what I'm probably going to do is go up here. There's like a little cafe spot right here, um, I think. Yep. And I am going to go, oh gosh, the, as much as I hate doing this, I'm going to make a drink um, for everyone. We did just, oh gosh, um, let's get the cheapest thing we can get. Um, the sweet and spicy is 40. <laughs> I could serve waters. Waters all around. Waters all around. Let's just go on and do the sweet and spicy. I mean, 40 simoleons isn't going to kill us. And then she can just kind of like... Um, 
thank everybody for helping her and just turning the restaurant around today. I think we did pretty decent considering yesterday we lost so much money. Um, and I think that, you know, hopefully that they'll appreciate the, the, um, poor him. He's thinking about money. I'm sorry, dude. Like you got, you got, you're in the wrong field and get out of the restaurant business. Like for real, get out of that field. Hopefully it'll really just cost me 40. Hopefully that was like $40 a drink. I'm assuming if I said make drinks for everybody, it'd be $40 for everybody. I'm assuming. I love up here. This is so pretty um, with all the different colors and stuff. I really like it. So she's never made a drink a day in her life. But I think this is one of those pour out the bottle. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Are they coming up here though? Okay, does she want to? Oh, she wants to be funny with Dante. Okay. Dante is like totally just tense right now. Um, care for self, Dante. Get yourself together. Nobody's coming up here though. Where is everybody at? What if they left her? Oh my gosh, what if they left her? I can't tell. Well, there's Mitchell right there. I could tell his walk. And then uh, there's Claire. Okay, they're all coming up, I think. Hopefully they all come up and then we can kind of sit and chat for a little bit. Um, and of course, when you make drinks for everybody, you only make <laughs> the drinks for everybody, but nothing for yourself, which is fine. I could make her. No, I don't want to pay any more money. I don't want to pay any more money. I just don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Um, hopefully everybody's coming. If not, oh my gosh, this day off tomorrow is going to be awesome for her because she is like totally stressed right now. So let's just pay bills really quickly. Um, I wish we got like a little bit more money from the child support, uh, but it's all good. So I'm going to go chat with Claire for a little bit and um, tell a funny story, chat with Hun a little bit and um, talk about cooking. And then Mitchell just totally got his drink and walked away. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Are you kidding me? All right. So I guess Mitchell has has nothing to do with this little employee outing. He does not want to have anything to do with it. He's just like, you know what? I see you enough at work. I'm going to share some of my ideas for the restaurant with Claire because she's going to probably be like our right hand um, as far as seeing the restaurant grow. I mean, of course, because she's going to be the one that's going to be. Um, oh, wow. We maxed the comedy skill. OK, that's pretty cool. OK, cool. I'm telling you, when I got her, she was pretty maxed out already from working at Trophy. So it's kind of cool to play a sim that's already kind of established, like family. Um, you know, a lot of sims I play, I do them from scratch. So, you know, it's, it's interesting. I wonder if I could take her somewhere and let her, um, like, make some extra cash doing some comedy. Do they get do they get tips and stuff from doing comedy and stuff? I don't even know. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to continue talking with him oh he's gloomy are you kidding me out of everybody I can hire I hire a gloomy sim and he's materialistic so it's like you're sad and then you don't have a good job you're barely making any money um who is this Han Silva what's up with all these wait 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 what kind of painting is this okay that caught me off guard for a second I didn't know what that was um I don't see anybody here she can kind of like I guess we can kind of go over here and do an enchanting introduction to him. And then I'll come over here. Oh, she's far too tense. Are you serious? I thought that that would help her kind of unwind a little bit. Did he leave or is he coming up here? I don't know if he's coming up here or not. He might be coming up here. Is he coming or no? I can't tell. We got two huns up in the building. Two huns up in the building, hun. <laughs> okay, I wanted to do an enchanting introduction to him. It didn't work. Did it or no? Sometimes you do an enchanting introduction, they automatically like are digging you. He's actually kind of cute, though. I don't know if I'm feeling his um his name because we got two huns here. Ask about his day a little bit. Um, discuss some interest a little bit. Um, just trying to get her to have like a little fun, maybe with um. You know, another gentleman as opposed to, I'm going to compliment his outfit. Oh, okay, we're going downstairs. Why, why are we going downstairs in the middle of a conversation? I guess she's just like, I don't care. I'm going down here. <laughs> Can we go paint maybe? I was hoping that we could. But I would do like a little cheapy small painting. Just like a little classic painting. Um, I thought that that would be something fun that she could do. But she's just not digging it right now. She's Oh, well, she's happy right now. Cool. Okay. 
Okay, well, we're going all the way back upstairs to go ask this dude about his day, I think. Are you serious? All right, whatever. I don't know. I, I don't know what that was about. But we're paying $50 right now to go paint. Or 25 Is it 25 or 50 I don't even know. But this is actually kind of cute because it looks like we're over here painting like, you know, some stuff over here. And we probably aren't, <laughs> you know. But that'd be cool if you could say I'm painting this stuff right here. Um, it's all good, though. Can I chat with Mitchell a little bit? Let's see really quickly. All right, let's give him a heartfelt compliment. Share some ideas for the restaurant. Oh, oh my goodness. Mitchell is not giving me the time of day. All right. I've, I've been thinking about maybe opposite track. What? Oh, my gosh. This is kind of crazy. I've been thinking maybe opposite track. This might be crazy, but let's go have dinner at the breakfast hub and see if things get spicy. Is that the reason why he was like such a bad attitude with us? I don't understand, but you know what? Let's go. Let's go. All right. So the next episode, we're going to go check out Quincy and see what in the world he's talking about with this whole opposites attract thing. Maybe there's something there. Wouldn't that be crazy though? If they end up having like a love connection, I think that'd be kind of crazy. So I'm going to end this part here because I'm close to my, well, I'm over my 20 minute, what I like to do around 20 minutes, but it's all good. I'm going to end this part here and I will see you guys next time when we uh, go meet up with Quincy at 